How's it going everyone? Popper here. Uh, today we're going to change a laser in a Genesis CDX. Customer brought this one in and told me it wasn't wasn't reading games. And he asked me if I could put a new laser in it. Well, we're going to break it down, we're going to tear it apart, and we're going to put a new laser in this guy. Shouldn't be any problems. Never know. Okay, now we're down below and we're gonna take this guy apart. First we're gonna start out and take out the four screws which I've already taken out those four screws and then there's three other little screws. There's one here, one here, and one here. That one you can leave alone. That's, that's a hinge screw. So I'll go ahead and take those three out and then we'll come back and open it up. Okay, now that all the screws are out, we'll take the bottom off. Which that just lifts right off there. We'll put that off to the way. And as you can see, we have a, have a crown shield on here. And it looks like somebody's had this open before because that solder point's not even soldered to anything. And what we will do is we will we will go ahead and unsolder these. I always try and use plastic plastic pry tools wherever I can. I just don't like metal against laying up against and prying on anything. Now that, see that just comes right off. We'll put that guy over there out of the way. And now we have a bunch of little screws. Nope, not yet. We'll get to them though. First you need to take out two small screws here and here. Okay, once you have those two screws out and see when you when you take the shield off you can change the change the CMOS battery in it uh, they're soldered in I have that one should be good it was still keeping time and everything now you're ready to pull the circuit board up out of here now this side is already unscrewed now here there's oh about 60, 50 or 60 pins that are plugged down into the other circuit board. So you have to get those freed up. All you do, I take a plastic pry tool and just get under it and pry it up a little bit and she'll pop right up out of there. And then to remove the face and the circuit board See, she comes right up out of there. Now there's a plug here for your battery. For the batteries. We'll unplug, unplug that one. Come on out of there. Now you have a <clears throat> now you have a bunch of little screws. You'll have one, two, three, four five, six, seven. This one here is a hinge screw and that one does not need to be removed. Now I'll take these out and we'll come back and pull the other board up out. Okay, now we can take this plate off. This plate is also your on-off switch which connects to the one in the front there. And this will just come up out of here. And this also holds your, your laser deck and assembly in place. As soon as I get this out, I'll show you. You can see the three pins. Those three pins hold your your laser deck in place. And I didn't show you before, but that's your set of pins right there that you have to that comes up off of the other other main board. Okay, now there's a there's a little resistor 
uh, soldered to this uh, grounding shield and I'll show you I usually remove it you don't have to but I do just because it makes things easier now what we'll do is we'll open up the the deck and then we can push up a little bit on the on the board here and get a hold of it now this is a little tricky this uh, face plate here that holds your that um, where your controllers plug in my god has to come out before you can pull this whole board up out of here so you just kind of work this up a little bit at a time it'll come up off of the come up off of the pins the plastic pins and then you can sneak that right out and then you can and then this whole whole piece will come out of here like so because you have to be careful because in the middle here the screen these two ends here hook down onto that so it holds it in place so you can't get it out unless you slowly pull that up out of there at the same time now we have our whole assembly out of here and as you can see now what I normally do is I'll go ahead and unsolder that little resistor so you can get that out of the way and what you can do to make it so you remember where the hell it goes is take a sharpie whatever and put a little black mark on the on the board that way you know ah that's where that little resistor goes now we'll flip him over have a couple little have one ribbon cable here and then we have three three little plugs here that have to come up out of here so we can get the assembly up off and once you get these those little plugs up off of there be careful lifting this up there's a see your ribbon cable is adhesived down to the motherboard so you can just slowly pull him up off of there make sure you're and now you have your your laser assembly get some of that crap out of the way and flip him over take out one screw that guy right there holding the rail in place And then you can just work him with your laser right up out of there see that little notch right there hooks down onto that rail now your your gear assembly here that drives the laser back and forth on the rail be really careful there's a wee little itty bitty spring in there and as you pull this rod out the rail out just bring him back a little bit and there's your assembly now that spring is held in place by grease and you take out your ribbon cable and there's our old laser assembly and we've got our brand new laser assembly get him out of the box and now on the brand new lasers there is an anti-static point that you have to desolder on these the anti-static solder point is on the bottom right there so I'll take a break here for a second and we'll get down to this and I'll show you what to do next okay I got some desoldering wick here my flux I'll dip my flux or my desoldering wick in there and I'll just set her down on there 
and we'll remove that desoldering point, that anti-static point. You can see it, but you can see I removed that glob of solder that's on it. Okay, now I'll clean clean up, make some room, and we'll start putting this back together. Okay, I got my ribbon cable on. Now, like I said, that little that little spring is held on there with a little bit of grease. And what you do is if you have some steady hands, you can slowly put him down where he belongs and get your guide rod on and there's your little springs in there okay now I'll go ahead All right, the hardest part I found with with the reassembly is you have to you have your volume and your jacks over here and you get those started in the holes. Line up your your deck. Now you have to put the face plate on for your controller ports. Is you, let me see if I can show you a little better here. Make a little room. There's those four posts in there, those plastic screws. There are the plastic screw holders, whatever you want to call them, the studs. And as you, you lift it up far enough to get your to get the end started. And then as you lower it, oh, come on, you work one, each one on. Okay, now now you can put your put your solder your little resistor. Now your next board can be a little tricky as well. And remember to plug in your your battery compartment. Now we'll start our controller ports in there. Got our on-off switch in place. 
and we'll look underneath here and make sure we get our our pins lined up. Can take a little finagling to get him to go forward enough to get those pins in. And when those pins are in place, just push it back together. Put your two little screws in. And put your grounding shield on it the bottom and we'll be ready to, to test this guy out. I'll go ahead and put the grounding shield back on and the bottom cover and we'll, we'll be ready to test. Okay quick shot of it being all the grounding shield all being put back down where it belongs. I'll get the bottom cover on it and then we'll go back up top and we'll We'll test this guy out and see how we did. Okay, as you can see, we got a disc in there turning. She's checking it. This game's not in the greatest of shape either, but we'll try it and see if this one will play. It doesn't look like it wants to read that one. That one's in pretty bad shape. I need to see if I can clean that one up. Reset it and we'll try again. And as you can see, huh? there she goes. Maybe. Yep. See if it'll play this one. This one's in pretty bad shape, and I don't know if it'll play this one at all. Yeah. And there's our Sega Classics arcade game. Now we'll go back upstairs and finish up, and we'll be done with it get this return back to the customer. So that's how you put a laser in the Sega Genesis CDX, the Multimedia CD-ROM Entertainment System. So if you're new here too, um, you know, hit the subscribe button, uh, ring the bell, and uh, you'll be notified of my new videos coming up. Uh, I'm going to spend a little more time on this channel than the other one, and See if I can get you some more repairs and some other gaming related stuff up so you can enjoy it. So just remember, don't throw it out. Let's fix it together and make it work again. Not enough of these retro game systems out there. Let's keep them going.